Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 25, part 11 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we actually expanded our railway for the first time in a long while, connecting to these towns of Standerton and Middleburg to basically deliver trans... well, deliver passengers between these two communities. Well, we haven't actually started a passenger service here to Standerton yet. As for one, we haven't actually connected to the main road network. There we go. We'll call this bus service F. And we'll also basically up rate a passenger train to connect these two towns. But in this episode, I'm hoping we we'll finally get started on serving some of the industries once served by our truck by our whacking convoys to basically start to be used on rail. Anyway, I'll need to turn this gray and don't call this passenger train I. Speaking of which, I recently have actually wait. Hang on. There we go. So a YouTuber actually commented on one of my videos explaining on how I could get some prospectors to be a part of the game. He stated that I should add some wagons to the back end of this cut diamonds train. Well, considering we only have three years left. Might as well give this a try. We'll try using some of these great generic compartment style coaches for this operation. Actually, let's try some compartment cars and see what happens. It'll look odd. But when we get to the port, we can at least pick up some prospectors. We can find some. Ah, here we go. Prospectors. And then they can easily ride the train to and from Johannesburg. So the loading of these prospectors is going to be natural, so to speak. All the while, one of our trains is basically coming back to pick up more fish. But in the meantime, we need to also get another train set up. Gonna clone this, put it on the new service. I haven't even started a service to connect to this town yet. So I'll have to put another train to go to this town. Passenger train J. Clone it and put it onto that service. Alright, now then, with those towns connected, we can at least get started on transporters and the commodities around on the map. For one, we'll need to connect to this machine factory somehow. I'm thinking, let's see, what's, what, what towns need machinery? Johannesburg needs machinery, we could probably do it by road. This town needs machinery, Standerton needs machinery, Middleburg needs machinery. Pietersburg is needing machinery, but that's currently being taken care of right now by our mixed traffic trade. Hmm. Well, I guess we can carry some of these commodities between these two by road. So we'll have to set up a trucking station for three platforms to carry the machines out. Let's see. So, let's place down hmm, a 
two-track platform. To drop off machine, to drop off lumber, it's steel to be processed. Get through that. We'll probably build a station on on the other side of this. But in order for steel to be brought in, we'll have to build a bit of a loop track. signal of course and one here I gotta actually ask why I thought a double track would be a good idea actually I will just make one track go straight Get this track to look good without making the landscape look terrible. Actually, we'll get rid of that and connect it with this tunnel. We'll raise the track up a bit. Connect to the main line here. Our new passenger train is on its way back to Johannesburg for another load. Alright. Now with the two tracks of the main line connected, now what we need to do is get a train load of steel brought in. Hmm? Cole is waiting at the platform for A3. Uh... No, you're supposed to pick up a full load and drop it off, not pick up any more coal. Hmm. Well, the f at least the coal right here will basically be put somewhere else. In the meantime, hmm. Gonna connect that and connect this. Put this on track one for easier loading. Freight train J steel. At least our steel will now have a good destination to be brought to. But considering how heavy steel is compared to other goods, we'll probably might need to have a double header with on this one you use one plank wagons as they basically are the flat wagons in this world you place down a brake van a brake coat well a brake van and put it to work on that service speaking of which oh I don't need that line now and where will train steel one go to? Line three. Uh, so now with steel already brought in. Well, with coal and iron, iron ore being processed, steel can now be in production. Which is great. But we'll need some more iron ore to, to make more steel. But I think the next industry to serve is the lumber industry, by connecting to the town of Ermelo, where we'll also build a branch line to connect to this forest and deliver logs to this sawmill. 
We'll basically build the station on the same side as this, so we'll connect to the grain farm at the same time. Alright, the road looks good. Yeah, I had to fix something because it didn't look very smooth right there. All right, a six by a six track crossing. Connections to the branch line platforms, well, to the commuter train platforms. Here. All right. So it's gonna be a little bit of time before this entire new connections are made. So I'm actually gonna cut this video right here, and I'll see you all in a moment once the track work has all been laid down. So I'll see you all in just a bit. And we're back. Now that the tracks have been completely constructed. Connecting the grain farm and the logging camp to the lumber mill and the bakery, respectively. We can now start transporting grain and logs, as well as baked goods and lumber. Of course, we've got to set up a new passenger service to connect the main town as well. Because it's kind of a bit of a long distance to walk between the middle of town to the station and back. So, bus service G. We'll put two of those laundry buses onto the service. And we'll set up a new passenger route running from Standerton to Erm Mello, which will be known as Passenger Train. Okay. We'll clone another train for passenger train J to be used on the new service. But now we can just get started on transporting logs and grain. So we'll need to set up a new tr freight train. This will be freight train. K, which will be logs. Full load, 10 minutes. And then pick up a load of grain and take it down to the bakery, which will be known as freight M, which will be grain. Right, of course, it's blue. Now, let's see, what vehicles can we get? It's a bit of a long distance for one of the trains or logs, so we'll basically place down an 060 goods engine to pick up the loads of logs and bring them down. We'll get several one plank wagons to carry the logs. And for the goods train traveling to and from the green farm, we'll put an 040 variant because the distance is not that long. And we'll put a couple of covered wagons to carry the grain to prevent the grain from being spoiled by the rain itself. We'll put that onto grain. But now we also get started on transporting the cut lumber. So we'll connect this station and connect here. This will be freight train L lumber. 
Oh. <laughs> I kind of misspelled it. Okay. It's... I kind of thought M was the next letter after K. Silly me. Anyway. We'll now have to get the same train that was used for the steel and clone it. And with that, we now have several new services set up. Grain is being produced at the farm, and cut logs are ready to be picked up to be taken to the lumber mill. All we just need to do now is simply wait. But I believe this new service could be very, very profitable. Also, at the same time, we also need to build a new service cargo service here in Joannes it Verningenig dig to basically deliver machinery. So we'll expand these platforms a bit. We'll place down a couple of cargo stations on either side. That and that will hold a total of over one thousand two hundred and twenty-five units. Okay, we'll have one spot to drop off loads of well machinery up there. One to drop off loads of machinery here, and one to drop off machinery here. So let's see. This new service will pick up machinery and take it up there. This will be known as Truck Service B1 Machinery. I'll just copy the text. Change this to green. Have a full load of 10 minutes. Connect this station and this one. You will be going on platform 1, do this again, but rename it to B2, change it to green, full load, 10 minutes, and finally, this will be B3, which will be used basically pick up machinery from the down to Johannesburg. It'll be 10 minutes as well, and hopefully we'll be able to transport a good amount of cargo. We'll place a new road depot, place about 10 of these wagons on each service. B1, B2, and B3. Alright, everything is now in order. Oh, wait, oh, right, it's the cut diamonds. I thought it was the mine diamonds. What's really strange? How come I'm not getting any prospectors here in the town, despite the fact that I added a coach to the back end of this train, to the back end of my diamond train? Hmm. So, so weird. Oh. Maybe I have to deliver prospectors to the mines? Uh. Maybe I should just focus on taking care of everything. Maybe that might be another time or another opportunity to figure out where it is. But I think we'll be. F I mean, this is not a 100% let's play right here. So I'm not really worried about getting all the medals. 
So, we're basically going to be doing okay. This express train is taking up, well, taking off up the line. All my, <laughs> all of my steamed power traction engines are waiting for the first loads of machinery, well, first loads of steel and lumber. Well, lumber's already there, but not steel. Not steel, lumber. Lumber is not there yet. A train of logs is still on the way up. This engine is only capable of about 40 miles an hour, so it's not. So it's gonna take a while for it to get there. All the while, Freight Train F is gonna be full to the brim immediately, and then it comes back to pick up this load of gold. I might have to operate a second train. Johannesburg Station is ripe with passengers, 24 of which are traveling on passenger train J from Johannesburg to Middleburg. The station is still packed as usual. We might connect to this town in the next episode, but we'll see. Hmm, any more finishing touches? Well, let's actually have a look at our HQ. We have 23 in the company score, yet we're on level 2 for our HQ. We were not we lost over 62 million pounds in the last two months, but we have transported over 26, over 13,000 passengers, and twice the amount of that in freight. But safe to say, I believe we have reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my on-site schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!